This is a quick tutorial showing you how to easily find answers to questions you may have when you have a error message coming from your application. So I'm not calling the student out, this is a common issue, uh, but I am going to use this thread as an example. He or she has posted the uh, error message that they're getting, which is great, that's really helpful for us the TAs, so appreciate that. But if you do get an error message, go ahead and take that error message and go to the Q&A, the main Q&A where you would ask a question from or where you would create a new thread. And when it loads, then right next to where you can ask a new question, you can also search for a question. So go ahead and paste the error message in there. And without having to hit enter or anything, it'll go ahead and load any questions that have that match for that error message. So of course, this is the question that was asked by the student. And as you scroll down, just kind of look out for titles and you can see a part of the body of each thread and see if you can see a question that has this exact error message. So right here I can see one uh, route.get requires a callback function but got an object undefined. So this one for sure is the exact same error message. So if you click on it, then you can scroll down. You can see that the student shared a screenshot, very similar, same error. And one of the TAs, Zarko or myself, will have already given them an answer. And so you can deduce what may be going on in your issue just by seeing what's going on in other threads. And the first thread you find may not always be the answer. So of course you can go back and you'll have to search for it again because the Udemy UI is awful. And then scroll down and just keep looking until you find another one, very similar that has the same error message. And just keep repeating that until you find a solution. Of course, this isn't always gonna get you the answer. With a lot of the really common errors and questions that we get, you'll definitely be able to find some if you look hard enough. But if for whatever reason you can't find one, then go ahead and scroll to the top, ask a new question, and type in all the information about the error you're getting, share the error message, any screenshots, your code, things like that, and we'll be able to help you in a timely manner. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.